Okay, hey, it's it's lunchtime. It's uh, middle of week three, right? Week three? Yeah, week three. Rapid React. So we're here at this really, really cool little um, hometown Italian restaurant. You gotta come to Kokomo, it's just the best. I, I've never heard of them before, but it's... <laughs> Fazolis or something like that. They even make their own cups. You gotta come only to Kokomo to get some of this very niche homemade Italian. <laughs> One thing that came out last week that was important was the release of Team 118's EveryBot. They did build a EveryBot and they put out a really cool video. Every year, for the past few years, 118's been doing this. It's a great resource for medium to low resource teams to build a very competitive robot that can do well at districts and regionals. So kudos to FRC 118 Robonauts for that effort to inspire everybody as usual. On Andy Mark's website, we have an EveryBot page that summarizes some of the parts that Andy Mark was specified to be part of this design and also some replacement parts, some Rev and Vex and other parts. There's some Andy Mark parts that the engineers have specified to be equal or similar to those parts that you could also get from those other vendors. AndyMark.com slash EveryBot. Yep. Or just type in EveryBot, search area, you'll find it. Pretty easy. Andy Mark is offering a, a hook package and a structure package that is based on the EveryBot design. And these guys have been working on the details of that design uh, for the past couple days. We're making some good headway with presenting a affordable product that teams could just buy and use as their EveryBot design. But there are some differences with our, especially our hook package compared to the EveryBot package. You want to go into more details about that? Sure. We're trying to use the quarter inch polycarbonate that we, we do have a great source for. Um, and damping at 221 systems can easily water jet. We can also make some in-house on our router. We're trying to figure out the flex issue and make it a little bit stiffer, working within the confines of the EveryBot intake, which has to fold up between those hooks. So right. it's a, definitely a bit of a design challenge. Sure. Our goal is to get something made pretty quickly. It most likely will be this time next week when we're sh shipping out these assemblies. A couple things that are happening right now with Andy Mark. Hot and heavy, we are shipping out cargo. It's a big deal. Everybody is hands all hands on deck shipping out cargo because we got our shipment in. Finally, yesterday, it took a while to get things through customs. That's why it took two weeks for us to ship out cargo since kickoff. The magic of getting items through customs these days is, is uh, like a black box that we don't really know what happened. So thank you for your patience as we were getting out cargo. The second thing we're working on is getting out the hubs and the vision rings for the field, and we're working on that. And then the third thing that's happening, we're starting to ship out first choice orders. Those are being shipped out this week also. We've got almost 2,000 orders of first choice, and each one of those orders has a lot of parts in it, and it does take us a little while to get all, all those out. So we, we plan on getting them out within the next 10 to 15 days. Thanks again for your patience as we get our first choice orders out to you. We're finishing up designs for our robots. Uh, I don't know about you, but on our team, our robot base is built and it's also wired, but our lead software engineer is out, so we're figuring out how to drive right now. We can handle it. Your drive base should be done. Your drive base should be built or very close to being built, or you better have a good plan for that drive base. I was looking at these guys and their team. Looks like their CAD is mostly done, almost all done. Our CAD is close to being done. Our, our robot's a lot simpler than, than their robot. I'm kind of worried about how long it takes to climb to the high or trans, traversal, transverse. I don't get that right, but. Rung number. We call it rung four. The, 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 the tall rung. I'm really curious about how quickly you should score cargo. So your team should be thinking about some strategy with regard to grabbing one cargo and shooting it versus grabbing one, going to get another one and shooting both. And what, is there a time savings with get, grabbing two and shooting those? Or should you just get one and score it right away? Yeah. That's something you probably should think about. I think it's xrcsimulator.org. You can actually play real rapid react with a couple different robots. That's and a good point. kind of do some timing analysis with maybe a few friends in a land party <laughs> from back in the day to do that. Yeah, right. It's a great resource. I think we take it for granted. I think it's, yeah. it's nice to have that. The idea of, of the field kind of being starved a little bit this year yeah. with regard to game pieces. I mean, getting that one ball through the system of 
exits. Yeah. Having it, maybe you just keep grabbing the same ball, just cycling it through. Every cycle could be different. Like, if you have two in your robot, drive up to the fender, shoot your two in, and there's a ball sitting beside you, you're probably going to suck that one up if there's not anyone in your orbit, like in that quadrant of the field that's right. easily accessible. You're probably going to pop that other one in and then go on your, your scavenger cycle. Spectrum down in Texas, Houston, Texas, put out a video of their first working climber, which is pretty different than a lot of teams. It's this um, whole pivoting assembly that this portion pivots with cinematic cylinders, and then this is tied to a winch. Um, and showing a successful climb prototype with approximately drive base scale. It's pretty simple and it's pretty light looking. I'm kind of kind of jealous how light it is compared to ours, but yeah. it's pretty effective. Definitely check that video out. It's pretty inspirational. Very cool. Thanks, Nick. So keep pushing, get your CAD done, get your drive base moving around. Um, have a great week and be safe and we'll see you next week. First choice orders. Say that five times fast. First oysters. First choice orders. 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 First choice orders.